start your morning the right way. It's gonna be great, gonna be a good day. This is Jason Lauren on Melbourne's Nova 100. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we doing? I- I'm good. I tried to get in the building with my Channel 9 security bars today. Well, so things are oh. going well. I've started well. I didn't, actually. Mm. Oh, sorry. It's a surprise. That's that's catfishing at its best. I've just seen the photo on your pass. Is it from when you were, like, 18? Oh, yeah. yeah. I reckon that's me. And, uh, Wait, mate, or that one? Absolutely not. Sorry. <laughs> if I was organising a Tinder date and you rocked up, I'd be like, hang on, what's, were, were you, you dropping off your son soon? Very young. <laughs> yeah. Very young, Clinty. Trading off that old photo, aren't we? <laughs> How are we both? Uh, we, we're good, actually. I'm good. I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm in... I don't know. Are you in a funk? I was having a dream that I was turning off my alarm and I kept sleeping through and then I came to work eventually at like 8.30 and we'd all been fired. Again? Oh. Yeah, and then I woke up. I had a up. dream like that last year. Yeah. And then I woke up. I had up. a dream. Um, and I actually had been turning off my alarm in my dream. Oh. You know when like you dream about things yeah. that are actually happening? It's weird. Anyway, it's rattled me. I uh, I was at the cop shop yesterday afternoon. What for this time? Uh, Were you paying tribute to Frank Gilroy? No, I heard about that. Just heard about that. Yeah. Who on earth? You text? (laughs) Why did you text me about that last night? I'm like, Clint, I don't know what you're talking about. I was working on the big stories last night for Channel Nine. Frank Gilroy's. Who is Frank Gilroy? Did you not watch Country Practice? With yeah. Esme Watson. Any, yeah. um, do we have an Was his update real on... name Frank Gilroy no, or his actor Brian name? Brian Wenzel was his real name. Um, wombat? What's the... What, womb- what's the... Yeah. Wombat's dead. The Wombat Break was... it to me slowly. <laughs> Jesus. The... Esme, she dead. Frank's now dead. Cheryl's dead. Shirley's dead. Yeah, right. And I think Cookie's dead as well. What was the Wombat and we don't. Cook? And we don't talk about Bob Hatfield. <laughs> so any chance of a reboot? <laughs> Okay, so you're a full country practice connoisseur. Oh, you know what I did yesterday? When Molly died, I was in tears. You'll for appreciate days. this. So I was down at uh, the police station because um, we made friends with local cops, and they said if you want to bring the kids down for a tour of the police station. What? Yeah, kids, kids love that stuff. Yeah, they do. What? So, Seeing people in jail? Well, no, the kids get a thrill. They go down, they put on the vests, and they uh-huh. you know have a walk around the station and stuff <laughs> like that. Just as an after school activity. Yeah, I locked them in the cell. It was great fun. See ya. Um, Surprise. Yeah. What's up? I'm surprised they let you do that. And then, well, well, this police officer we've made friends with, he said, oh, I've asked my sergeant if you can come down. Oh, yeah. Anyway, as he's giving me a tour, <laughs> we're about to walk around the corner to this hallway and he goes, I'll introduce you to the boss. And I said, oh, oh, Tom Croydon. Senior Sergeant Tom Senior Croydon Senior Sergeant Tom Croydon <laughs> introduced me to Senior Sergeant. And I turn a corner and this lady walks out of the office and goes, I am no Tom Croydon. Oh, no. Oh. She was oh, Maggie oh, Doyle That's then. what I said. And she goes, Maggie Doyle didn't have these stripes. Yes, Queen. I don't think Maggie ever made it to boss, No, did she, she didn't. I was no, a lady didn't. boss at the station. Yep. She, was, she was fantastic. Were they nice? They were great. They were so nice. Did the kids get to go in the car? Uh, they've been in the car before. They put on the vest. And then last night I locked them in the cell. How good was that? Oh, my gosh. Look at them. Yep. Did you did you just have some desire to leave them there? Yep, there you go. Absolutely. <laughs> when I when I actually got there, they were like, "Hi, can I help you?" And I said, "Hi, I'm just checking in too." Yeah. <laughs> Strong. Um, I'll tell you what, though, cops are understaffed, man. Okay. Like they were flat chat yesterday. Like they're they're trying to get you know trying to recruit more people. I did hear there has been a big push to recruit more policemen and women. Yeah, they women. did a uh, they did a big police recruiting drive. I remember a couple of weeks back, just after mm. the Good Friday appeal. So um, they're really busy. They run off their feet, and you're there, there with your s- two children. <laughs> just as an after school, I'm finding this Give particularly odd. Did you have to check in or something, and you just made the kids think it was for an after school activity? I've never heard anybody just going to the police station and checking out the cells as an after school activity. Get about the, the serious incident down in Mordialic. <laughs> Unless no. you're visiting the old Melbourne jail. On Obviously, that creepy ghost. if there oh, was sorry, a- can you just wait? I know, I know. There's something terrible's happened, but can you just wait? We're just showing Jason's kids around. If there was a situation, we were there as backup. All right. <laughs> I'm still confused by this situation. What are you doing after school today? Going down to take up some paramedics' time? No, or? don't be silly. We're going to the fire station. <laughs> can we borrow the hose to set up a slip and slide? I hear the CityLink control centre is very good as well. <laughs> You confuse me. I'll give that a crack. Mate, when you get three kids, I'm looking for any activity to kill yeah. Tom. Hey, it's not uh, even school holidays and you're doing these oh, Tell me about it. Tell me about it. It's just, if it, if it pisses away an hour in the afternoon, <laughs> then you do it, Lauren, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, uh, we've got a massive show today. $5,000 up for grabs. The 5K question. Remember, we gave it away yesterday. 
And hopefully we will do it again. Who could forget? Today. We've um, also got Shayna Blaze on the show today, guys. She is having a career change. Oh, yes, she is too. Shayna Blaze from the block. Yep. Uh, we'll mm. get to what it is. I think uh, it'll surprise you what she's doing. 100%. We'll get to it after seven this morning. Also, there's a bunch of block rumours we need her to mm. clear up. Mm. Um, hey, uh, we're going to get to the good news up next. Yeah, forget about the Met Gala, Lauren. I've got a no. The Met Gala. The Met Gala. I thought you said the oh, Met Gala. No, no, no. Now that one I'd watch. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> it's the I, Butchers Awards. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a Nova Fashion Alert. Oh. Oh. We will go there after Sabrina Carpenter. Meat Pie Awards in New Zealand get a good turnout. Strong. Let me tell you, that's that's a night of nights. <laughs> Geez, fashion can trouble me sometimes fashion. in that it ebbs and flows and something from the 80s is cool again in the What's 2010s. And I, I, I need to do a clean out of my wardrobe, but then half of me is like, I, oh, maybe just wait because it might come back in fashion. No, don't you have to Marie Kondo it? If it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it now. Otherwise, it's meant to like bring your mood down. If I got rid of a lot of stuff in the house that didn't spark joy, Lauren, mm. I could Wouldn't really be left with much. <laughs> You could live in a tent. You'd be living in a granny flat <laughs> <laughs> on your own. Well, um, the fashionista in me. So would uh, I. It'd just be me and a hundred dogs. <laughs> My uh, ears pricked yesterday when I was oh. watching Today Extra. Is it the hyper colour shirt? Oh Jace. my gosh, let's bring that back. Jace. Yeah. It's better. And I think you might have a collection at home. The humble cargo pants is making a huge comeback and I'm here for it. About time. Any fashion trend that allows me to store my snacks yes. in my pockets. Oh, you got a kick in there. <laughs> my biggest tip, though, it's obviously a trend, so don't yes. spend a lot of money. Yeah, the cargo panties back. So you knew about this? <laughs> well, yeah, because Nadia Bartel's brand, Henny, has been doing cargo pants. They sound cheap. I, I don't know. I'm not don't sure happen. that that's, that's Nadi Bartel. I'm not sure that my Colorado cargo pants would be still in Question. fashion. What about talking? the ones that zip off under the knee? That, that was, yeah, that's where <laughs> I was Aren't going next. Fisherman pants? No, no, no. no. no they, they, they were, were just trendy. three quarter cargo. So there were three and they, quarters. And then if you're overheating, yep, you just undo the bottom. Jace, yeah. you strike me as being a cargo pant man. Not a massive pant guy. <laughs> See, it's, I've got like, I've got like. It's true. You are just a short man. Yeah, I've got like, um,. I guess cargo pant material, but no side pockets on them. But I've spotted <laughs> some. What do you mean? Like they're just trousers. Oh, like a chino. Like a, like a chino, yeah. Like chino. a wide leg chino. A, a wide leg chino without a pocket. Are they I in think, camo? Uh, I've got them in a variety of colours. I've got the green. I've got the black. Oh, yeah. The camel. The navy and the camel. Yeah, of course you do. You're, you're a creature of habit. It doesn't surprise me when you find something you like. I didn't look good in the white. Oh, you cannot <laughs> be doing white pants. That's not, it doesn't suit your colour. Unless I am the captain of a cruise ship, I will not be wearing That's, white pants. White pants aren't for you. But that extra pocket would be very handy for you because I know that you've no been. No one's actually putting things in the well, cargo but, pant pocket, oh, are I they? I think they are, aren't they? Tradies, wait on, hang on, these pants have still been around for tradies. Down at Aussie Disposals, is that where they're buying them Aussie from? Aussie Disposals, <laughs> yeah. And of course. Course. Pick up a stand, no, not a Stanley knife. What were they called? Pocket knife. And Jeans yeah. West will have them soon as well. If you go on Aussie disposals, can you give me one of those little pellet guns? Remember these? I'm telling those? you, all the girls are all the girls are wearing like cargo pants and crop tops. Lara Cro- Croft style. I've seen you rocking your car keys and now coming on a carabiner. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know. You're going rock climbing afterwards. <laughs> But that would fit nicely in the in the pants. It would. It would fit nicely in the pants. In the, pants. <laughs> the pockets on the knees Why are too low. Why do you have low. a carabiner on your keys? Because he shops Why do you at Aussie the pant? The pant. <laughs> that would look good with the pant. Um, do you think we're going to see cargo pants on the red carpet at the Met Gala? I hope so. like someone will be in a cargo pants. Screw pant. cargo pants. Where are we at with hypercolor? Oh, hypercolor was so strong. Oh my god. But our millennial producer even know what I'm talking about. Ali, she's how old? Is she twelve. 12. Our twelve-year-old producer. Do you know what hypercolor shirts are? No. Oh my god! You've never heard of hypercolor shirts? No, but I do own cargo pants. Yeah, right. see, yeah. She's, cool. see, she's cool. So, so we used to have these shirts that were like, like it might be purple. It basically glorified sweat patches. Sort and of. As your body temperature changed, the color of the shirt changed, and we would put them in the freezer to change colors as well. And you go like this. <sighs> <"Hah>, yes, <gasps> yeah. And then it'd change. Did, did you ever have a what, mood what, a what? mood ring? Let's bring mood rings back. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she had a mood ring. What, Jace, something's happened? I, I hate it when you have an idea. Show merch. We're not Hyper having color. Hyper Hyper color. No. <laughs> I love it. No, I'm not doing it. It can be great. And cargo pants. Yeah. <laughs> a really hot rings. day can be the old logo where we used to work, and on a nice cool day, it changes to Nova. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing hypercolor. I'm going to look into it now.
please do. Okay, done. I've got things to do. Play the ads. Hello. So uh, Clint was informing me before the show today that we have a new number one selling car, which Ooh, we're going to get to. Fancy. We do. What is it? Do you want to reveal it? You can reveal it. No, you do it. Uh, you... <laughs> What's wrong? I can't remember what the car is. Are you kidding? <laughs> What's the car? <laughs> What's the car? <laughs> What is it? You've uh, stitched me up No, there. no, you're building you this tell, up. You didn't tell me. You didn't tell me. That's why. You're you know what they're saying? Cars in Australia have grown. You're building this up. Shut just up. Hang on. Have we got some sort just, of bit of paper with this on it? Just tell I'll her. tell you. Tell her the car. So cars have got bigger. They've got more than 80 centimetres bigger in the last decade. And I've got super-sized it. cars are now the thing. Oh, like so, those big Ram four-wheel drives? Yeah, have you seen back. those? The Ford Ranger last year's top seller went viral over the weekend. Yeah. What a car. Ford Ranger. They're, <laughs> Shut up, I've got a couple of friends with Ford Rangers. They're massive. Like, yeah, oh, you, know, you need a ladder to get into But them. there's all different types. There's the Raptor. Oh. The Is Raptor's that a type got, of Ranger? Yeah, it's got like bigger wheels. You know the new... <laughs> oh. They're wide though. They no, seem wider I, than a normal no, car. I think, I think you're thinking of like the big Ram four-wheel drive. Oh, like, no, there's big American ones that are out, but oh, then yeah. the Ford yeah. Rangers... What are they quite... called? Super Utes or something? Yeah, Super yeah. Utes. Super you know S-Supers. the new Ford Ranger? I'm pretty sure I saw this in an ad, and I was like, that is a bloody great idea. The steering wheel folds down flat like a tray table. So if what? you want to have your smoko in the so car... So you drive like a bus? No, 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 you don't drive... <laughs> <laughs> Turn it around. <laughs> That'd be good. With a little gas lift chair. Yeah, bouncy chair. Yeah, um, yeah. No, no, no. So the steering wheel folds down flat. So when you're parked at a job site, if you haven't smoked on the car, oh. it becomes a tray table. That's oh, strong. Put, That's a great idea. Uh, no one's doing that. Yeah, they would. Oh, yeah. No I would. You're not getting a tray table. You don't need to. You've got your steering wheel. Tray. No, you've got a steering wheel that folds down. So then, like, you you know, open I your big map on that. I guarantee you that is a feature no one would ever use. I'm t- I would use it. It's put, it puts your nugget holder to shame, doesn't it? It really but does. But you have to have a tray to sit on top of it or it'll all fall through the Let holes in the Let me look into it. I'm wheel. sure there's some sort of Well, you whip out a McDonald's tray to sit on top. <laughs> all right. Like a prison tray. Let's guess people's cars. 13, 24, 10. How old are you? What do you do for a living and what's your marital status? We'll try and guess what you're driving. Okay, Kate, good morning. Good morning, guys. Talk us through your details. Tell us about yourself. Uh, um, I am a married... 47-year-old woman, two teenage boys, and just a my commute to work with my husband in the car. How old are the boys? How old are the kids? Sorry. 17 and 15. 17 oh, so and 15. So they drive, yeah. So she's going to need space. I reckon what... Uh, How many kids, sorry? Yep. How many kids? Two. Two boys. Two old I reckon, boys. I reckon you've got a four-wheel drive situation, an mm, SUV, no. four-wheel drive, like a... Um, yeah. Like a yeah. Kia. Like nah, a, not a Kia. Mazda? Nah, like a, or maybe a Mazda, a CX-5. Yes, I think it'd be I CX-5. I think you've got a Nissan Juke. Or a Nissan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my boys would fit in the Juke, Clint. Right, okay. Yeah. What about um the Cube? Have you seen those oh, little... Oh, they're so tiny. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, oh, they're not silly. my style. Right, I'm going to say... CX-5 is my C- guess. Yeah, CX-5, Kate. No. What, is, what, what are you got? driving? I'm driving a Honda CRV. Oh, oh yeah. CRV. Similar vibe. Pretty much same thing. Similar vibe, yep. All right. All right. Madison in Brookfield, good morning. Good morning. Talk us through. Oh, you sound like Tell a Suzuki story. Swift kind of gal. <laughs> so I'm 28, I work in finance, and I'm married with one four-year-old child. Okay, please hold. 28. So she's married young. 28, she's in finance. works in finance. She sounds a little bit anal. Like she's got a life together, very organised. Oh, it's mm-hmm. No, not a Volvo. I don't think she's a Volvo. I think she's got like a um, fun streak in it. A little um, jazz. No, a, no, she's no. Got like no. Audi A3. What's a smaller one than yours? At twenty-seven, she's buying an Audi. You're at twenty-eight. She works in finance. She knows oh, how to be get leasing. Hyundai gets. Yeah, yeah. She'd be leasing. Hyundai right. gets. No, no, no. I'm with Lauren. Why are you choosing all miniature cars? <laughs> she's got a child. Just because you drive a hatchback. Um, I'm with you. Let's go Audi Q3. Yeah. Are you driving an Audi Q3? No, I drive a Havel Jolly on. Oh, Havel. the car. Havels oh. are the new Ubers. <laughs> My like, wife's got one. She loves it. What's yeah. the Havel? Loves it. That, I always thought it was a Haval. No, it's Havel. Havel. Yeah, oh. they're like, there's lots of Uber Havels. I what? quite like them. I think it's a they Chinese ca- brand, so they bring them in from overseas. Oh. Um, so, oh, sorry, so they're a lot cheaper. Lou's car has all they're the same good. features. All the same features of like a, an Audi or yeah. a Land Rover, but they're 30K. Oh. Yeah. All right, Nathan in Hastings. Good morning. Morning. How are you going? 
What's yeah, your good. story, bro? Tell us about yourself. Uh, married, three kids. Um, How old I'm are you? I'm a glazier. You're a glazier. 30. 30. Commodore. No, no, no. Do you do cash jobs, Nathan? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Range Rover Sport. No, no. Three kids. I reckon what trade he doesn't do cash jobs? <laughs> Range Rover Sport. No, no, no. He'd be. No, listen. Sounds like they'd go camping and stuff. I reckon. Oh, like a pathfinder with one of those oh, little yeah, awnings that come out, with one of those awnings that come out the side. Oh, yeah. little... Okay, Nathan, tell us what are you driving? Are you driving a pathfinder? No, nah, Lauren's got it right. Commodore, Commodore knew it. Are you serious? Oh, Commodore. Really? Yeah. 2003 Holden Commodore. He's yeah. only 30. He's got three kids. All right. Sick one. He's Let's cruising end. in a Commodore. One more, Naomi, <laughs> from Point Cork. Give us your stats. Hi. Uh, I'm 30, married, two kids, and work in a trade centre. God, all these people have their lives together, don't they? They really do. We really... What's a trade centre? Uh, so, like, I work with tradies, ordering oh. paint. Oh, oh. We're exchanging people. Naomi, oh, okay. 30, trade centre, married, two girls. How old are the girls, Naomi? Uh, 11 and 3. Cam- 11 and 3, Camry. 30 years old. A Camry? No, nah, not Mazda a Camry. Mazda 3? Uh, yeah, no, maybe. no, no, no. It would be bigger than a Mazda 3. 5. A Mazda 5, no, CX-5. No. We're going back to the CX-5? We're going back. Wow. Well, okay. Naomi? Chicks I, love Mazdas. Are you driving a CX-5? No. Uh, I drive an XR6. What is it? Is that, that a Nissan? Up. A yeah. Nissan? No, no, no. It's like a Ford Sedan. Oh. You got a you spoiler. Got a, Ford. a spoiler on there? Subwoofer Didn't in the boot? the Ford factory shut down and now there's yes. not as many Fords on yeah. the roads? Yeah. You can get them cheap. Can you? Yeah. So, oh, no. Holden. Holden shut down, didn't they? They're all shut down. Yeah. Oh, they both shut down. Yeah. The big one in Geelong? Shut down. <sighs> well, it's still going, but shut down. No Tesla drivers. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> No one cares well, I don't about think the they're making cars out of there. Anymore. Well, what are they doing? Making lollies? Oh, they've just, you know, just what, ch- no? sitting around chatting. <laughs> <laughs> I miss the days when we made cars. Me too, Steve. Where in Geelong? Just wash them. Is the Ford factory in Geelong shut? <laughs> oh, don't ask him. He says they're open, but they're shut. Is it shut or open? The Holdens have shut. <laughs> I know. Is that, the Ford factory in Geelong? I don't know. <laughs> We oh got God. that. 13, 20, 14, if you know what's going on at the Ford factory in Geelong. <laughs> Yesterday on the show, uh, we were chatting about our very own mum here on the show, Lauren, hitting yes, up a on, festival. On the weekend, I went to the Out to Lunch Festival. I went to see Fisher, the DJ. Did thought, you get carded? Get carted? Carded. Oh, no. Not surprisingly, no one asked for my ID. Damn it. <laughs> um, when was the last time you got carded? Uh, you know what? Not that long ago. Really? Somewhere I went in Brisbane, but I think they check it. They, well, it's not so much they check your ID. They take everyone's ID and, like, scan it. Oh, yeah, that's, in not, case oh, you, no, no, that, that's not being carded. In case you get into a bar fight. Yeah, there's a couple everyone, of clubs that do everyone that. Get, yeah, everyone gets that. Yeah. They ask everyone. Yeah, yeah I, they do. Like, half my friends didn't even have IDs on them. They're like, oh. I've got three kids. I'm 40. Oh, yeah. Lou got carded, my wife, at a bottle shop recently. I was like, yeah, yeah. It's nice to know you still got yeah. it. Well, that's, she's still got it. You don't still Oh, God, it. no. They were like, and does your granddad, thought- does he have a... Oh, you can get seniors <laughs> discount here. Yeah. Um, well, so I went to see Fisher on the weekend and there was a moment where I realised, I think I'm too old to be here. We went down to the beach and I was like, oh, my God, the soft sand. Like, we were so old, oh, we were yeah, just yeah, trying not to tear a car. Yeah. When it was time, if you needed to go to the bathroom, like, portable toilets. At our age. At our age. <sighs> so I ran all the way back to the surf club every time I needed to go, <laughs> needed well, to, go to the says, bathroom. She says ran. You know when you walk through the sand as well and it's quite hard and you have to do the... <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or the squeak. Like real Bigfoot star. <laughs> yeah, it was steps. hard at our age. Just walking on soft sand in general, let alone being at a festival and trying to find your friends mm. and run and dance. Um, I bet I'm too old to use portable toilets. Technology. I'm not is... I'm not flushing with a pu- foot pump. No. No. Technology is sort of the thing that catches you out and makes you really feel old. Um, I remember like teaching my parents how to like send a text message and stuff, thinking oh. how, like this isn't hard to use a phone. How and then on the just weekend, not keep up with the time? Exactly, and that's what I used to think. And then mm. on the weekend, uh, Felix, my 10-year-old, had my phone and he came, he brought it back to me and he goes, oh, I downloaded a music app because he plays piano and he goes, get mum to ring your phone. So Lou rings my phone and he's made a ringtone. Oh. And he's attached it to Lou's number. And I'm like, oh, that's great. And then when he walked away, I said to Lou, I'm like, that's going to rattle me. I don't like change. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I yeah. just like the ringing ring, sound. Ring, ring. 
Do you think this guy could work out how to change the oh, ringtone back? No. Oh. You, oh. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, I wouldn't know how to change I'm, my ringtone. I mean, either. general, generals going to sounds. What am I like? And then you're in privacy, and you exactly buggered. yes. And yeah. then you're trying to change the language. All of a sudden, I'm being reset. Yep. Remember when we used to pay to download different ringtones yes. other yes. than a ring ring? If my phone even rings these days, it rattles me. If it's not on silent, I'm like, how did that get Wasn't the volume turned on? Wasn't there a crazy frog on? or something? Didn't crazy the crazy frog, frog make yep. a lot of money? Yeah, it was a fortune. Yeah. Fortune. Yeah, I wouldn't know oh, how to change even, my ringtone. Don't even start me on the prices of things. Oh. I totally like went and bought a, I bought a Magnum the other day. $6. <laughs> six, six bucks. bucks used to be, six bucks used they've to be always a, been the spenny ice cream, There was though. a tub of ice cream yeah. back in our day, though, Clint. Mm. No, a Magnum's a rich person's ice cream. What no did she say? <laughs> yeah. Oh, geez, it's 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 a real reality check, isn't it? It's a slap in the face. Yeah, things make you feel old. 13, 24, 10. What has made you feel really old? Remember I was saying the other week I was at the $2 shop and my kids are like, what's that? And it was the bag of water balloons, but oh, individual water balloons. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they just I, I was watching them try and get their head around like, how do you do this? Well, I can't get my head around how the kids no. blow up 100 water balloons and self-tie them in one. Yeah, thing. I know. What genius invented that? <sighs> Where were they when we were kids? 13, 24, 10 is our number. What's made you feel old? Mm. Even yesterday we were listening to a song on the radio and the song finished and Felix goes, I love that, play it again. And I go, no, it's the radio. Like you just got to wait. Oh, like, yeah. You got to wait for the station to play it again. Yeah, well, it's like mm. kids are like, what are this? When you ads got six come minutes on. Oh, ads, ads coming up. Ads really. Can't you fast forward through that? <laughs> ads no. really freak them out, mate. Mm. Yep. 13, 24, 10. What's made you feel old? Give us a ring. Someone is going to walk away with a, I'll tell you what, $500 red balloon voucher. Oh, nice. Show mum you truly know her this Mother's Day with a unique red balloon gift experience. Emailed instantly. Redballoon.com.au is the place to go. Hey, Melbourne, what's made you feel old? We are talking get no. Yeah, what's happened recently that made you feel old? I was watching, I was, well, I was talking earlier about going to see Fisher on the beach at Coolangatta. Yeah. But then the next day on the Sunday, he did like an impromptu little pop up mm. at the a beach house, like a, a, a hotel or pub up there in Coolangatta. And I was watching a bunch of my friends there and I was watching it on Instagram. And he just stood up on the decks and then started crowd surfing. And I was like, this is dangerous. Oh, this yeah. is dangerous. That's dangerous. Yeah, you wouldn't be a crowd <laughs> surfer, would you? <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. I was like, I'm um, so old. Your mate Chris Hemsworth posted a video of his kids ripping around on dirt bikes. Yeah, fun. And I remember watching. You oh, guys yeah. played it on Weekend Today. Yes. Oh, and and Jane, Jane. Jane. Jane, my co-host on Weekend Today, turned to me and said, where are their helmets? And that's exactly what I thought when I was watching it. I was like, no helmets, no shoes. Come on, guys. No. That was just in the backyard, though. They weren't doing No helmets, no shoes, no bikes. Yep, exactly. You no old. Hat, no play. We old. Go to... Alicia. In Tullamarine. Tullamarine. Alicia, good, good morning. morning. Alicia. Good morning. Uh, all right, what's made you feel old? So I didn't think I would feel this old, but <laughs> an iPod Nano, my brother's... They're 11 and 12, and they didn't know what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Because of how small the screen was. They thought that it wasn't actually an iPod because you can't play any games on there or anything. Is the Nano the little one that just had, like, that tiny little one-line screen? used to clip screen? onto you. It like had it. The, little, the little screen, like a really small one. Then yeah. They, then they had the shuffle. Oh, yeah. A little shuffle. The shuffle, yeah. I had yeah. the original one yeah, that went... Same. It was quite large. As you swiped your finger around. It was white and silver. When I was a runner... I had the Nike shoes where you put the thing in the shoe and oh then it sinks up God. to you. And then it <laughs> sinks up to your iPod. When you I were had a runner. That. And then you had your power song. You so to, if you're yeah. feeling a bit weak, you'd hit the middle button on the iPad. Yeah. iPad, iPod. And then it'd start playing your, your pump up song. But you had to buy the special shoes to put <laughs> the special <laughs> tag in. Oh, no. I had those. Kelly in Doreen, uh, what made you feel old? Um, other than working with foundation kids every day where I'm reminded that I'm old. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, went, I was at the gym yesterday doing a workout and I looked over at a girl and she had her ID in the back of her phone oh. and it said 2002. Mm. And in that moment, not only did I realise that I was old and 10 years older than her, then I'm unfit as well. <laughs> yeah. But 2002, I think people who were born in 2002 are like seven, mm. but they're not. Yeah, they're I'm 22. The same. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Wait, is that did I do the maths right on that? Yeah, I think you did. But yeah, Kelly's yeah, yeah. also 22. right in that 20. the kids twenty two. The kids tend to carry their IDs in the back of their phone, and that means you're young. But should we start doing we that? We should. We should. We absolutely should. 
We still have the phone connected on a chain to our waist, yeah. though, don't we? <laughs> No, that's cool now. Wearing it as like a ha- crossbody handbag. People have these cases, <laughs> and it like I saw all the k- kids at the festival. Um, they have it like a big strap, and like it looks like a handbag strap, and the phones. Attached. My wife bought one, but she wears it around her neck like a oh, lanyard. Oh, that's old. Yeah, that's like the falling alarm that my nan would have <laughs> to wear exactly if she's home on her own. The falling alarm. Let's go to Emma. Morning, Emma. Good morning. How you going? Good. What's Good. made you feel old? So my daughter went to an excursion at Rip and Lee last week and she was so excited. She wanted to come home and tell me all about her day and she said, now I want to tell you a story. I want you to just to cast your mind back to the olden days in 1980. (laughs) (laughs) 1980 is the olden days. Like 1980. She thinks it it was all black and white back then, doesn't she? The gold rush era. (laughs) Oh, my God. I wanted to cry. (laughs) Oh, the 80s. Emily. We are dinosaurs. 13-24-10. Uh, we're hip and young, Lauren. Don't be silly. You're only... Anyone who says hip and young is far from Rad. It. I said rad yesterday. Rad. He said rad and I looked at him like, you can't say rad. <laughs> Ever. Rad. Ever. Radical. Take that back. <laughs> Emily, what's made you feel old? <laughs> My apprentice actually has never had a car that you've had to put the key into. Oh. oh. Have you ever discussed how we use some cars you have to physically wind the window down? <laughs> oh, don't. We had a rent a car once and I had a wind it and my kids were like, what the hell is this? Mm. What kind of madness yeah. is this? Yeah, and then you'd be like, oh, it's your friend, wind down the window. And you'd have to go, is it worth saying hello to them? Because it's, um, it's hard bringing it, was, it back up. Yeah, it was easier just to open the door. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yoo-hoo. In the drive-thru. Window down. Hello. Arduous. <laughs> you burnt that cheeseburger. <sighs> we're dinosaurs. No, we're not. And we... I'm cool with it. Well, cars don't even have handbrakes anymore. Were you around in the prehistoric how do you era? Do, how do you do a burnout now with the oh, little... No, with the little, button. Yeah, with the button. It's a fun out of it. What button? Hey, uh, it's just... Oh, yeah, you don't even put yours on. Uh, and it's just gone four past seven. Oh, the handbrake. No, I think it just goes on automatically. I've never touched that button in my it, life. If you're I parking think... on a hill, you need to put the handbrake, handbrake on. on. No, it just... When you turn the car off, it just goes on. Mm, not all the time. You need... I couldn't even tell you where it was. The car even, or the handbrake? <laughs> <laughs> Let's say hello to this lady. Introducing our next guest. You'll probably know her as the Queen of Interior Design. From Channel 9's The Block. I'm sorry, this is a disaster. Ooh la la. As it turns out, she's also a fantastic singer. It just took a good cause to get her back behind the microphone. Stand tall, don't you know that I'm Welcome to the show, Shayna Blaze! Woo! Shayna Blaze, is there anything you can't do? Look, I'm not a baker. I'm just oh. going right out there. <laughs> hey, and now we knew you could sing because you did the Masked Singer, but did you? Is that when you were like, wow, I can really sing? Or have you been singing your whole life? Oh, no, singing my whole life. I was in bands in my 20s and bands. used to be in jazz bands. It was fun because, you know, the kids used to go to sleep at night with the band rehearsing in the front room and wow. how they used to sleep with a trumpet and a sax. I had no idea, let God. alone set of drums. You've got Warrior, which is the single. Warrior. Did, did you write Warrior? I did. I okay. co-wrote and it with it Gary sort of, Pinto. What's it about? Well, have you listened to it? I've, I've heard. I'm a I've warrior. heard Warrior. Just like this. I'm a warrior. You know that Here she is. Told you. Yeah. It sounds Warrior. like it could be the theme song for Gladiators or something. Well, actually, <laughs> it is. Like it is like the an summit anthem. is starting on Channel 9 Ooh. before the block. Yeah. When they reach the summit. Oh, exactly. I'm a warrior. That is it. Sing it, sis. That is. But it, it, it is about people that don't have a voice. You feel like you've been suppressed, you've been squashed. And, you know, I wrote the lyrics about, you know, a time that I was felt like my voice was suppressed. And then there's two versions. There's what we call the radio edit, then an l- extended version that has the speeches of Grace Tame, Brittany Higgins and oh, Julia Gillard. Right. And so that is about people that have been told they should not have a voice, find their moment and inspire others. And that's really what it's about. I want Warrior to inspire others to speak up and not just speak up for themselves but speak up for others. Mm. So it's so about it's a, empowerment. It's a bit of an anthem. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. It. We do a segment on our show called Melbourne Whispers mm-hmm. where we get people to ring up with rumours. This rumour came through yesterday. From someone who didn't want to come on air and say, but... 
2024 is going to be the final year of the block. The block is finishing up. I read something today about someone leaving no. the block as well. No, I read something no. online this morning. Shade so, ablaze. So we heard Keith is leaving. Or is that yes. not true either? Yep. Yes, no, that's Blockinator's true. gone. Yep, Blockinator's gone. Time. Who's yes. taking his job? Dan. Um, there isn't Dan. anybody. So oh. it's mainly just Dan. Okay. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dan the man. Dan, don't break my heart and tell me it's the last year because I love the block. Well, whoever um, said that rumour that didn't want to be um, named is because they're a liar. Pants on yes, fire. Yes, queen. The block is so strong and yeah. this year is... Still writing its pants off. It is. And this has a whole different feel because we are on an island and it's a holiday resort. The, the yeah. feeling is so different. More it is like. so, so different. Can, so mm. can I just confirm, you're saying it's like a holiday resort they're doing this year? Well, it's an old resort that well, they're turning into, so it's, you know, a private little area. So it'll be standalone places, though. Absolutely. Yeah, right. They're absolutely. not all working on the communal pool and barbecue area together. No, or it's not like, you know, sort a of caravan like, park. you know, yeah. royal. Jumping it's not SeaWorld Nara Resort with a faceflift. It's Well, who knows? Yeah, right. Who knows? So, I could start another room. What are you There's giggling dolphins. at? No, oh, just, Chuckles over here. He's <laughs> laughing and pointing at I, me. Well, I recently bought a house and I had to sort of theme it up. Oh, oh, no. Shana, oh, no. Do you tell Shana Which, he lives in Richmond on a busy street and he oh, goes, God. Loz, I'm going with a coastal thing. <laughs> I was like, why are you doing that in the middle of Richmond? How good's cane okay, furniture? Do you know what I've got? Because you've gone on the, the road, <laughs> yeah. you're in a main road, and you've gone coastal because that noise, the swish, yes. is like the waves of the ocean. You could be so forgiven you're just... for thinking you're at Sorrento. Absolutely. I'm so in Italy. there. Yeah, the, the, it's so close, I just can't believe it. You felt like you were at the beach, like a beach house, isn't it, walking and, uh, in there? Just like a beach house. Wow. Did you have a little bit of sand in the front, like a little sandbox, oh my God, just guys, to drag it in? Let's get Shana to do, do a, a tour sign? of your house, <laughs> oh, no. and we'll have Scotty out the front with the blackboard, oh. and he can write up the do results. Do you have a sign when you I go out? my you face put... will show you what my school will yeah. be. You put on the front door that says, gone fishing, <laughs> for when you're not home. At the beach. <laughs> well, you know what? Here's a little thing to just take it to the block, is just put a little yeah. penguin there. Okay. Uh, Lots yeah. of oh, penguins and seals. Very nice. Oh, yeah, that's very... Yeah. Oh, God. Don't tell me they're doing that. As well as oh, Keith no. leaving, have we had a couple walk off the block, have we? Well, I can't confirm or deny. That is, that let's, is you let's know, Let's say hypothetical. Because I sit there and go... It's the second you year d- in a row that's happened, isn't and it? I, and I get, like, those people that walked off after one mm. week. Idiots, though. Like, you know, you know but what they, you're signing up for. the block hadn't actually started. That was the challenge. That's that right. They actually hadn't started the Oh, house. that's fair enough to leave Yeah, there. This challenge is too hard for me. I'm yeah. actually coming from a true spoken quitter. I'm a quitter. <laughs> when things are too hard, I quit. Yep. I get it. Out of the what? last few years, yes. which is the house you would buy? Has there been a favourite that you've gone, you know Ooh. what? I like what they did with it. It was finished perfectly. I, I have to say the quality of what um, Stefan Gian did. Oh, yeah. Was, yeah, it was incredible. Yeah. We've never seen before. I wouldn't want to buy it because of the area, but the house was so... Thanks, that's that's thanks Shana. That's lives. three that's streets from lives. my house. <laughs> thanks very much. Well, you know... Wow, the- wow. <laughs> It's more that house in that China. area. You can take I it. I have a house in Kyneton. <laughs> yeah, I you don't want to live in Moorabbin. Yeah, you want space. <laughs> and what's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for, for those renovators, <laughs> well, what sort of theme is in right now? Is it coastal? <laughs> <laughs> you can take your single and you can... Uh... <laughs> She's a warrior. I've got a house in Kyneton. I don't need a place yeah. in that area. Don't. Come on, don't you do. Don't you <laughs> no, do. No, he's mean. He's no, mean. It's, it's Hampton East. We're rough side of Bluff Road. Okay. More relatable. Man of the people. Exactly. Yeah. You tell yourself that, yeah. Jase. <laughs> Marabin. All right, well, look, Shane Blaze, we love you on the block. We love you behind the mic as well. The single is Warrior. Make sure you go and grab it. Thank you so much for popping by. It's good to see you, mate. Thank you so much. I would say next time come over to my place, but I know you don't like the area, so we'll, we'll keep meeting we in South Melbourne. We've got to have choices. We love you, Shana. Thanks for coming in. Justin Timberlake currently on tour overseas. Have you seen his stage, actually? like No. It's hydraulically lifting over the crowd. It's like a oh. ride at the Melbourne show. It is like a ride at Isn't the Melbourne it? That show. That core thing that goes. Yes. Oh. Michael Jackson did that back when he came to oh, Melbourne it. in like 1996. He was, it was at the MCG and the stage went up and he went like, uh, it was like a cherry picker. I oh, saw so what you're saying is it's old. It's, yeah, I it's think it's been so. done. It's, I think it's been done. All right, you should mess. I'm sure it's a more you. modern version of the cherry picker than I saw. Yeah, I think the olden days it would have. It can't be as good as pink flying over the whole thing. No, exactly. That's yeah. next. Put level. them on a trapeze and then call me. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, hey, let's offload some money. Keep track of your money with Bank West's genuinely useful app. Consider it right for you. Up terms of you supply. Jason Lawrence, technology takeover. We got my 10 year old son Felix in the other day and we started giving him a whole bunch of old school tech. Yes. We got him to describe it. If you can work out 
what the old school piece of technology is. You score yourself a thousand bucks, all thanks to BankWest. Keep track of your money with BankWest's genuinely useful app. Consider if it's right for you. App terms of you supply. Are we ready for today's old school tech? Yes, let's have a listen and see if we can work Feelings? it out. Have you ever seen one of those before? That's an olden days telephone. I've seen it. It's and, an, no, it's not an olden days oh, telephone. No. It does have a telephone oh. attached. Yeah, there is to a it. telephone on there. Make sense anymore? What else does it look like? It's big. It's uh, kind of cubish. Yep. It's pretty big. Would you say it almost looks like the printer at home? Well, thanks for the answer. It's a printer. It is not a printer. Well, it's actually not. <laughs> Smarty pants. Looks like a printer with a telephone attached. He got a little sassy with Dad, yeah, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. Thanks for the answer. Story of my life, mate. What about when we said it's not a telephone? He said, well, then this game's stupid. Yeah. Because it <laughs> looks like a telephone. <laughs> All right, Amanda. That's when he says T. 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 Does my head. Like, what does I'll be, T mean? I'll be blowing up about something at home and he goes, T, Dad, T. What does T mean? And I go, do not T me. Time Earl Grey? Out. Time out. Oh. Time out. Earl Grey. <laughs> oh, like a English referee, breakfast. like yeah. a basketball. Yeah, tea. and he'll even do it. I'll be like, listen, put your iPad down. T. He put does the action sh- as well. Do not T me. Put those stupid little hands away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Amanda from Clyde. Do you have any idea what Felix may have been looking at? It looks like a printer with a telephone attached. I certainly do. My dad was a printer and a fax technician, so it is a fax machine. She's done it! <laughs> That's it. What were they called? Fax... Facsimile. 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 Yeah, I, I did try and say that, and I just thought, no, <laughs> don't, don't even bother. <laughs> yeah, facsimile. I still can feel that, that shiny little paper yeah. it had print on. Do they have that... Um, oh, yeah, it's like baking paper. Do they yeah. have that uh, at Channel 9 in the newsroom still? They probably do, you know. I can some see that. Some places still do. use fax machines. Like some, really? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's like... Like doctors or something, like they have to fax a script you know to the pharmacy if you need it. You know what I saw in someone's waist the other day? In their waist? On their waist, a pager. Oh. A pager? No I one's was using like, that. What's the point? That's not. No. Yes. They were in a costume. No, they were. <laughs> they were going to an old fashioned party. They weren't going to an old fashioned party. It was like a bloody Wednesday at two in the afternoon. I went to a, a doctor the other day and he doctors had. Doctors still use them apparently. He had the file, like he had the. Old school file drawer that you pull out. Oh, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Get Filing your card company. out. Patient record card. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Look who's doing that. Well, I guess it's just such an effort to digitalise it mm. all. My dentist does that. Looks like the bloody state library. All the folders lined up. Oh, it's embarrassing when they pull out your file and it like goes <laughs> thump on the table. Oh, yeah, you've had a lot of bad stuff happen to you, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, a uh, very funny story coming out of the AFL world uh, regarding the Brisbane Lions. Logan Morris, an AFL footballer, was given his time to shine in the Q clash between the Gold Coast and the Brisbane Lions. So this is it, first time getting uh, first game. a call up. Yep. He was an emergency, so he'd played a reserves game a few hours earlier. Yep. He was called up into the Lions squad, but in between that, he feasted on some McDonald's. What? Have a listen. Yeah, after my VFL game, I... I left my boots at the ground and oh, no. didn't think that I was going to get on um, t- uh, in the ones game and um, stop on Maccas on the way home as you do after a big game. <laughs> um, and then rocked up to the to the ones game and five minutes before the game starts, got the call up and yeah, my heart was racing and um, it's something I'll remember forever. Here's the order: a barbecue Angus meal. That's a big burger. That's right. Six That's... nuggets. No. And. A frappe. No. Oh, <laughs> guts Imagine full of milk. The frappe. Guts and then he had to milk. go and play. How did he play? He played all right. He kicked a goal. Jeez. No. Not bad. In his first game. Yeah. Oh, good on him. He had to borrow one of the other players' boots because <laughs> he didn't have his boots with him. What? No. What a, no, I swear to God. What a mess. Seriously. Oh, the poor thing. He would Imagine how rattled he would have been. Oh, yeah. And then he's gone out and nailed it. Good job. <sighs> good job, bro. What's his name? Uh, Logan Morris. In a food Good on coma. You, Logan. Oh, my God. Forget Imagine what that. he ate after. Oh, yeah. Imagine the endorsement. He's going to be loving yes, it. Yes, good point. He will. He'll be on an ad. You've got Jason Lauren Clint's here from the newsroom as well. Well, there's absolutely no doubt that most of us know and appreciate greatly how hard nurses work right across this great state absolutely. of ours. Um, today is a day for them where they are making a stand. Uh Public sector nurses and midwives have rejected a Victorian government pay offer um, and today there is some strike action happening. Emma is a nurse here in Melbourne. Emma, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. No worries, Emma. Thanks for jumping on with us. Hey, Emma, first of us, 
first of all, tell us what this is all about. So our campaign has really been about retaining, recruiting and rebuilding our nursing and midwifery workforce. Yep. Um, so our enterprise agreement completed or expired. Um, and so we've been in negotiations with the government and our employers since about October. So they've given us an offer and unfortunately anything that was deemed as potentially a cost was completely omitted. Um, it's not that we're being greedy by uh, doing industrial action and we never want to do industrial action, but it's just that they're not negotiating with mm. us and we're really being forced into a corner. So how, how are patients going to be impacted? Yeah, that's what I was about to ask because I've got because my little two-year-old going in for grommets today really? and I'm sitting here going, like, is, it, is this something that will affect mm. people who are in hospitals today? Yeah, so the stage one action is more so about um, nurses refusing to do things like overtime, being redeployed. We're going to be wearing our red campaign T-shirts, yep. uh, spreading awareness through social media like radio um, and riding on vehicles. So it really is about being disruptive without affecting patient care. Yeah, right. Um, if we get to a further stage, which obviously we hope we don't, um, there may be some, some um, patient impact. But... Uh, there will definitely be exemptions, like children will definitely be exempt and cancer patients. Yeah, yeah, right. Hey, Emma, just to simplify it, um, for those of us that don't know what's going on behind the scenes in hospitals, what are nurses and midwives actually being asked to do at the moment that you guys are so frustrated about? Well, myself, I've been a nurse for the last eight years, and even in that short time, I've seen significant changes on the workforce and on being on the ward. Um, you know, we, we we've always done overtime, we've always done extra shifts, we've always been there for our patients when we've been needed, especially since COVID. Yeah. Um, you know, when when we were needed during COVID, all of our nurses, we showed up, we went yeah. to work, we were there when we were needed. Um, but ever since COVID, we've had a major shift in the workforce. A lot of people left. What does that mean? Um, a, a does that mean of, a lack of resources? Yeah, that's... More so about our, a lot of our knowledge. A lot about a lot of our really knowledgeable nurses, unfortunately, retired yeah. or went somewhere else. What? Or we've had a lot of people recently go to the casual route. So since COVID, it's constantly we're getting guilted into doing double shifts. Um, mm. In theatre where I work, we often have staff do a ten-hour day go home for two to three hours for dinner and then come back for a night. See, that's, see, I, that's crazy. I find that frightening. I've got mm. a mate of mine who's an Ambo and he, he they were going through something similar. I think and, they still are. Well, he was like, you know, sometimes I, I'll be out there for 16 hours and rock yeah. up at a car accident or like you were saying, you know, nurse does bloody 12 hours, goes home, three hours sleep, comes back and you're in theatre. Like, people are going to make mistakes. Well, it's dangerous, you know what I mean? dangerous for, the, for the nurse, first and foremost, but yep. also for the patient, 100%. isn't it? But, it, it, Emma, it seems like, like nurses are so responsible. You care so much about your patients. Of course you do that. But it, at, Absolutely. S- at some point, you guys need a break too. Just quickly, um, people who obviously aren't nurses like ourselves, how, how can we help support this? Yeah, definitely getting the awareness out there and just talking about it. Um, talking about the fact that this is happening. Um, like I said, it's not something that we ever want to do but it really has come down to um desperate times come for desperate measures yeah. so mm-hmm. being on social media and talking about it and um you know anyone who's in hospital speaking with the nurses that are looking after them as well mm-hmm. having those conversations is yeah, right. a really great idea um to get the awareness out there right. well emma well it's a shame things have had to come to what is happening today i thank you for everything that you do because our nurses our paramedics our midwives they oh, work mate. very very hard to keep us all safe and well so thank with you with three kids you you won't be shocked how many times i visit a hospital i bet and every time the staff are fantastic. They're great. And half the time I can see, I'm like, God, you look buggered. And they're like, yeah, yeah. You know, double shift today. Or, But the care is no different. Yeah. You know? It, like, it is amazing. Um, it, it's, it must be said, it's also, look, it's a tough balancing act. There, there's a state budget it, out today. I know it is. But like, like the, you got the Ambos asking for more money as well. No, no, but Clint, the police last do, year. the teachers do. But, like, but they last, all do great work. But it is also, you've got to think of it, it's hard I to know, balance the books. But last year we're sitting here, remember we are covering that stupid bloody art structure. Oh, exactly. Orange and, and, slices on Hyatt Road in oh, the park Oh, we spend there. our money on stupid That's what I mean. Things. Well, that's a council thing. That's not a state government thing. But, yeah, uh, you're right. by a bloody politician in the corner. No, I'm, I'm just giving you blame. facts. Just giving you facts. No, but you know what I mean? Even the state police, like, we're wasting money on stupid things. Exactly. Exactly. You know, let's let's start with healthcare. 
You know, mm. we used to be one of the best in the world. And, yeah. you know, I feel like we Get are your priorities right, behind. basically. Good to be rest assured, though, that uh, today patients won't be impacted. Yeah, which is great news. My lovely wife, shout out to her, Louise. Uh, she's taking Archie, our little two-year-old, in to get grommets today. Beautiful, Louise. What are oh. grommets? Uh, things that go in your ears to help the water funnel Seep out. out. Yeah, because basically he was getting a lot of ear infections. Oh. Mm. And sometimes the grommets fall out, but it's just, it's always hard. Like, everyone take... I know who's had grommets, like it's a game changer for the kids. Yeah, it is. Oh. It'll if make the, your life much easier. If they stay in there, you know. You, oh, do they come out? Yeah, sometimes they, and after a while they, they fall out. What? Oh. Like That's, teeth? After a while they just fall just out. Find it on your pillow. Yeah, That's they're crazy. quite small. You might not even see them. Oh, huh? uh-huh. yeah. there you go. Like little funnels. I what guess a that, silly name for them. Grommets. It's quite I know. cute though. <laughs> Sounds fun for a kid. Sounds I like want a bug's grommets. in there, you know what I mean? I want grommets. Anyway, been a big couple of days for my lovely wife, Lou. She went out on a girls' night on that Saturday night. Yeah, the girls. I was pretty happy about it because it was the Cats v. the D's mm. match. Yeah. Um, and I was like, Lou, go out. You yeah. and Alani, your Live friend, your go best out. life. There yep. is something so luxurious about having oh, a house Lauren. to yourself. And honestly, I military precision getting those kids to sleep. Yep. So it's 7.30. Dad's got the house to himself. Sat down, down ordered my pizza, cracked a beer and was like, house myself. Do your mm. kids go to bed at 7 o'clock even on a Saturday night? 7.30. That's early. I'm routine. 7, how old are they? 10, 8 and 2. What time are they up? 7.30 yeah. on a Saturday night. Yeah, but they're up ready to go at 5.30. Yeah, that's Well, that's extreme. your problem. No, Why no, don't you let it, them stay up a little later because and then it works they get for up us. later? We get up at stupid o'clock. So oh, that way we even get on a, a weekend. So we get a few hours at night. Oh. There you go. You know what I mean? 7 o'clock. Do I'm never going to have a chance. <laughs> Do they know they I go hear. to bed at 7 o'clock or are you one of those parents that's like, no, it's 9.30? You they hide the don't clocks. Know how to Sometimes the clocks adjust themselves. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so lose out on the tiles. Yeah, I'm sitting there watching Did the footy. Did she have a curfew like the kids? No, no, no. I was like, it was going to be a long match. I was like, you stay out for as long as you want. She then sent me a text. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, this is a bit random. Um, I said, I hope you're having fun. Kids are all asleep. Go hard. She put, thanks. Hey, we might be a bit later. Alana and I are going round to some guy's house to check out his sauna. <laughs> sauna. <laughs> sauna. This is at eight twenty one PM on Saturday night. She's just night. trying to get a reaction. No one's going in the sauna. That's what I thought. She's days. trying to get a reaction. Yeah. So I just put In the sauna. Now keep in mind, we're almost into the second quarter. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. I'm, Knock yourself out, stay yeah. in there for a few hours. Well, I replied saying, Um, okay, hey, can you ask if he's got a steam room, please? Like just a bit of banter. What did she just say some guy? Didn't name him. That's it. That's it. <gasps> I love this. Go Lou. Then yeah. the next message. Yeah. Sure, we're about to head there. I'll ask him. Should I give you the address in case you don't hear from us? That's when the penny dropped and I'm like, I don't know if she's being serious. So I replied and put, um, I'm not sure if you're joking or not. Now, I'm all up for making friends with a sauna. But yes, please tell me where you're headed. She put, no, I'm not joking. Alana wants to buy a sauna and this guy lives close to dinner. So we're going to go check what, it out. What, has she met someone on Marketplace? Well, this I, I wasn't sure at this point. <laughs> So I put. Are you... Hang on, this is Saturday night at eight o'clock. <laughs> They're at dinner in Elwood, and they want to go back to this bloke's no, house to check Jace, out the sauna. That's not... She doesn't even have her togs. <laughs> is the sauna turned on? That's my. That's I don't my know. concern. My concern. Also, is... go to a sauna shop. Yeah. What do you guys? Some place. Where, where did she shop? meet the guy? I've got so many questions. Get her on the phone. I, put, I mean, I... I love that she's doing this. <laughs> love it. I was wish I was invited. You're concerned for her safety. I'm concerned if she's got any togs or activewear <laughs> handy. You're not buying them at 7-Eleven. You can't be going in your going out clothes. <laughs> I reckon she's met them on Marketplace. Or she in her duds. Is she going well, in her undies? I've said, are you serious or is your friend keen on him? And she put, no, we're serious. She was going to go in the morning, but he said, come tonight. <laughs> ah, of course he did. I then sent one of those, you know, request lose location oh, yeah. just so I can track her. She declined the request. Get it, girl. But <laughs> are you right? Yeah. But sent me the address. And then out of nowhere Why did she decline the location? And then out of nowhere, I just get a photo <gasps> of an infrared sauna. And they are at the bloke's house. Show me the picture. Is she in it? <laughs> no, she's not in it. She's in, in it. it. Is no. he waiting nerd? It looks like a red light district. No, no, no. It's, a, it's an infrared sauna. You know you oh, can change no. the lights on that thing. And That's red a single means person sauna. Red. Have you seen what I've replied? I started making a bid for the sauna after I saw a photo. <laughs> oh my god, this is so random. How much? Will he take a thousand cash? Case. <laughs> my my whole mood changed from her safety to we might pick up a bloody yeah, infrared sauna enough. pretty cheap here. I don't want to keep scrolling through your messages. So where do we end? But I've put an offer in and he's getting Did back you to not us. but no. What? You're buying the sauna now. Well, I'm thinking about it. Hang on, no, but you can't. 
You can't cut her friend's lunch. She wanted the sauna. Well, tough. Pay more. Did you ask the questions on how they met? No. When I saw the sauna, I just went into a bidding war. Mm. It is a bit random, isn't it? I need it? more. Can you text her right now and say, Lauren needs t- to know? No, no, no. Turns no. Out, right now. It turns out they were chatting on Facebook Marketplace. And she went over at 8.30 on a Saturday night? Yes. Not a good idea. Apparently no. the guy's wife was there too. I turned into dad when oh. she got home. I was like, oh, were you, no. ang- were you what, angry? The wife was there. The oh, guy's wife. Yeah. Is there room for four in that no, thing? No, they you all should really buy it. They all weren't in the sauna. Oh. Eight o'clock, your chance to win $5,000. We gave it away yesterday, and hopefully we do it again today. Yes, let's do it. Let's go to Shannon in Box Hill. Good morning, Shannon. Good morning. Hi. We've got Hi. a smarty pants on the line, guys. Oh, we've got a law student. <laughs> here we go. i my best. All hey, right, um, Shannon, we've got three questions loaded up for you here. There is an easy question for 50 bucks, a medium question for 500 or a difficult question for $5,000. Where do you want to go? I'll do the 500 please. Okay. $500. Now, just for getting through, I'm going to hook you up with a $100 Interflora voucher. Uh, Wonderful thing. No you. worries. She's always there for you. So be there for your mum this Mother's Day with Interflora flowers you, and um, gifts online. Shannon's a Collingwood fan. Delivered same day around Australia. Interflora always there anywhere. Yeah, no, just nice, <laughs> nice symmetry. Might be able to help a few fans in court there, uh... You have, one wi- you have one win and listen to you. No, just how, about, call- how about you have a chat with your Demons fans? Collingwood and Petty Crime. Why don't you have a chat with Demons fans about actually rocking up and supporting oh, oh, oh. their team? There were 50,000 there. Sorry, we digress. Are Shannon, you two done? good luck. B1 Thank and B2 you. over there. Yeah, we're done. What are you going to slap the other I one in a minute? Oh, that's right. Tigers fan, you thought the season was over. We're oh, talking football. You can attack me all you like. I'm cool with it. All right. I'm at peace with Richmond I not like winning that. the Premiership. I like how Jace now fights back. I love all right. it. Can we try and win Shannon some cash? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, Shannon, for $500 now, I knew the answer to this question. And that's saying something. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so remember, okay. you got three seconds to answer. Here comes your $500 question. What is the smallest planet in our solar system? Three, two, Jupiter. One. Objection. It is not Jupiter. Mm, Mercury. Mercury. What is it? Mercury. 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 Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Remember, it was oh, no. Pluto for a while and then that got downgraded. That's right. Jupiter's got some size on it, doesn't it? I'm like, not even close. I think Jupiter's quite big. Yeah. Saturn's Jupiter's a bit of a unit. Anyway. Yeah. I remember at school, I could recite all of in them order. in order from the sun to the earth or however it goes. Do you want to give now, it a home now? I would have no idea. Yeah. I know Mercury's the smallest. Oh, sun. mate. Half of what they learn in schools now. Like... When have we used a Bunsen burner around here at the radio station? Mm. No. Honestly. And I remember we just wanted to talk about Uranus all the time. We thought oh. it was so funny, the name of that planet as a kid. <laughs> it's still quite amusing. <laughs> it's not Jupiter and it's not Uranus. Hey, uh, <laughs> Shannon, Mercury is thanks for smallest. giving me a crack, mate. Go the pies. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Jason Lauren's single Mother's Day lunch. Love your mum. Oh, I mean, mixed emotions this time of year, can't it? Yeah, Mother's Day is on Sunday. Sunday PSA for anyone that may have forgotten. Is Mother's Day. It is. Uh, if tricky you're a day. florist, don't have a bender on the Saturday. I reckon they'd be well prepared for that. Um, it, it can be a tricky day for many, many people, and it can be a gorgeous day as well. And this year, we have decided to celebrate the single mums of Melbourne. Lots of single mums do it tough. Um, uh, all year round, really. So we thought on Friday, why don't we do special for some of the single mums in Melbourne, Jace? That's right. Um, We've been asking people to nominate a single mum they might know. Uh, you can jump on our Nova website if you'd like to nominate someone. And then we want to spoil them on that's, Friday. That's right. Uh, we're going to be holding a very special lunch at Strato. 360 degree views stretching above the city and bay. 140 metres above the ground. You can book your Mother's Day lunch at Strato. Melbourne would be the place to go. We've had many nominations coming through, Jace. One of them is from Jess. That's right. Who is nominating her sister, Ange. Ange joins us now. Good morning, Ange. Hello? Oh, I had her. Thank you. There we go. Good morning, Ange. You're a single mum? Yes, I am. All right. Tell us about your beautiful kids. Yeah. I have one daughter. Uh, she's about to turn 16. Um, tell so, tell yeah. me it gets easier, Ange. To be honest. 
<laughs> Whenever you ask that, parents just go, big kids, big problems. Um, yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> hey, uh, Ange, I, you know, it's always hard. You ask someone, you know, how do you think you're nailing it as a parent? And I know you would normally be like, oh, you know, and focus on the negatives. But um, in your sister's eyes, you're doing a pretty bloody good job. Take a listen. Mother. My sister is the best single mum out there. She has been doing it on her own since my niece was one. She gives up whatever she needs, works her ass off so that my niece can have everything she wants. My mum was disabled a couple of years ago and she has stepped up for me in that role. She is just the best mum that anyone could ask for. My mum is probably one of my best friends. She has always been there for me no matter what. I'm so proud of my mum. My mum has always put time for me and always has worked hard. She always makes sure I have a roof over my head and food on the table. My mum is definitely the best mum out there. There is no other. Aww. You're nailing it, Ange. So Ange. nice. Oh, that was the sweetest thing. Aww. What a surprise. Aww. Oh, and sometimes I imagine being a single mum feels just like you're doing it on your own and you're just doing your best. But hearing your beautiful uh, daughter and sister talking about you like that must make you feel pretty special. I'm shaking. My heart is so full of love. Aww. Hey, Ange, what does your sister mean to you? Because they're pretty special words. My sister means everything to me. Um, it's been me and her for a long time. And as she said, my mum was uh, disabled in the last two years. So it's just been me and her for me, her, and the two of our kids, and my sister needs everything to me. Oh, well, you sound like a pretty extraordinary family of women. Um, I tell you what, I'm so oh. glad. I'm so glad you said nice things because Jess is on the other line. Oh. Hey, Jess. Good <laughs> morning, Jess. Hey, how are you going? <laughs> oh, we are good. Yeah. Hey, um, hey, Ange. Um, we'd love you to come along and join us on Friday for our single Mother's Day lunch. I would love that. That'd be amazing. Awesome. There you go. We'd love to spoil you for Mother's Day. I mean, Jess, your sister Ange, she must sacrifice a lot being a single mum. Yeah, she really does. And since high school, they don't do the Mother's Day stall anymore. Oh, no. what? <laughs> no poppery. What? <laughs> That's an no outrage. No pottery, no candles. No oh. jelly beans in a mug. That's an outrage. And I missed the last one because of COVID. Oh, well, there you go, Ange. Don't worry about that. We are going to spoil you yep. on Friday for our single Mother's Day lunch. We'll see you there, mate. I know your heart's full of love, and on Friday the Liberal will be full of Prosecco. <laughs> Ange, do you want to say anything to Jess? Thank you. I love you, and you've surprised me this morning. Thank you. Well, I'm I glad that. Claire was behind it too. Oh, oh, sisters that get along, I'm not used to that. I oh, know. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, if you know of a single mum in Melbourne who could really just do with a bit of a break and celebrating them. Uh, like I said, hit us up on our website, noverfm.com.au to get in touch. And it's a beautiful you, idea, Lauren. Well done. Yeah, it it's is great. Be fun on Friday. Well, I was, it, I was listening to a single mum talk about Mother's Day the other day and she's got little kids and she was saying that um, Mother's Day, like they don't do anything because generally it's if the kids are a bit older, they'll plan something or maybe yeah. your partner plans something when you've got a little mm. baby and and there's a lot of single mums out there that are single mums for many different reasons. But uh, all I know is that all the single mums that I've ever come across sacrifice so much oh, for yeah. their kids. And there's no one to share the workload with. There's You do double the jobs. So we thought it was a special thing to celebrate the mums that might need yeah. a little extra love this so Mother's Day. I'm looking forward to Friday. Be a bit of fun. Yeah. Uh, you two are coming. Absolutely. Will you be the only men in the room? Oh. Are we still doing shirtless bow tying? No, because we want to give them a nice time. <laughs> okay, good <gotcha. Sorry. laughs> There's no one here. <laughs> They've gone home. How's the patronising voice? We want to give them a nice time. <laughs> These are the worst strippers ever. <laughs> Can I get a refund on this free lunch, please? Remember to bring some coins and, and $5 note <laughs> coins. Where are the coins going? <laughs> we'll take what we can get. So we know Clint goes to Sydney every Friday afternoon for the Weekend Today Show on Saturdays and Sundays. And on Friday, I was in Sydney too. So I said to Clint, hey, why don't we have dinner tonight before... I leave and you do the, mm. what do you do? The Today Show on Saturday Isn't morning. Isn't it funny? Like you guys see each other every day, but then when you see that person in a different city. Oh, it's like, it's like a holiday romance. Do you want to meet up? <laughs> so I was like, romance. let's do dinner. And he said, yeah, yeah, great. I'm on the plane now. And then I just get this text about an hour before dinner and it just said, Lauren in capital letters. And that was it. And I was like, 
Something's up. What's happened? I was like, is the flight being cancelled? He said, no, I'm still on the plane. We've just landed. But we've got a situation. <laughs> this is where I take up the story. <laughs> and and you'd expect... Run me through. G- what given time I was am, the flight? Uh, it was 4pm out of Melbourne, so got in about... Well, it was delayed, but got in about 5.30, 6 o'clock. Uh, Jetstar Virgin... Qantas. Qantas. The Nine Network flies Qantas. Um, <laughs> the you Nine think, Network's living in 1980. You think I would um, get good at it? You know, get used to it by now? Well, you do it every weekend. You uh, should be like George Clooney and up in the air. I, I should be, Jase. He's too comfortable. This is the problem. I'm not. So He's it was a it was a it was a full flight, right? Well, it's a four p.m. on a Friday. It was crammed. There was not a spare seat in the house. Um, still, I, as Lauren said, I'd had a long day, long week. I wanted to make myself comfortable, so <laughs> too comfortable. I took my shoes off. <laughs> took my shoes off. Socks. I had Question. socks on. Question. Question. Aisle or window seat? I had a window. I always... Window, you can take your pants off. That's fine. <laughs> no, no, no. But, but, but window, he doesn't have to put anything else back on for someone to get out. I agree with that. Because you, know you can I mean? nestle yourself into oh, that mate, little cocoon window, against the window. You're in your own world. If you're taking your things off, though, you've got to be prepared to put them back on mm. before landing. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you can't in... be doing that when people are trying to get their bags off and you're like, oh, oh. no, no, I disagree. You're in window. You can sit there and wait till everyone gets off if you want to. Well, herein lies the problem. because We, we... recommend putting your shoes back on. We were, before descent. We were circling for a bit, right? So I did, descent all of a sudden happened, and I'm like, oh, God, I've got to put my shoes on. So I got... got Still got time. Well, no, no, turns, no. On, turns out the plane descent was descending really quickly. I got one on, <laughs> but the other one went scooting down. No. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Came. Under the seats? Under the seat. Oh, I didn't for... think that little no. gap in between the seats no. was a big enough no. to accommodate my silly little shoe. <laughs> so but wee! One shoe. Like, like a headphone, I understand. Oh. Here he is, sitting on the plane. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sitting on the plane with one shoe and just one sock. Now, are you still airborne? So we're now on the ground. The shoe is MIA. He sends a full photo of a full plane saying it's somewhere down there. Oh. With all the passengers trying to get Everyone's, up. and it's a Friday. Everyone wants off that plane <laughs> as quickly as possible. <laughs> and old one shoe Clint has to hobble down the aisle, having a peek under each seat. On Excuse his ha- me? On his hands and knees. <laughs> you, have you seen my shoe? Is it there? Hello? Do you know what, Hello? My, do you know what my advice was, Jace? I would have taken off the other shoe. Both socks and walked off bare feet. I said, just walk off. You've got white sock on and a white shoe. No one's looking down. Just limp off and pretend <laughs> that, nah. you, that you came like that. I would have went barefoot. He asked the host to help and then he sent me a text saying the host is down on all fours looking under the seats trying to find my missing shoe as well with all these people. Sort of just on a scavenger hunt for this one silly white shoe. Anyway, I found it. It was it had travelled seven rows forward. <laughs> it was in the same... Oh, you know why? Because the force when, it, when yeah, the plane... when they land. I yeah, sat they... 14F. Yeah, I found right. it in 7F. Yeah, right. That's why you have to have your seatbelts on for landing so you don't go sliding like a penguin down the arm. Can you imagine the people as we were coming in like, woo, what's that? All <laughs> well, the people at... overhearing you asking the hostie to get down on all fours and help you. <laughs> Be a while since you said something like that. I would have especially just, on Qantas. I would have walked straight <laughs> off. She's gonna need help getting up. <laughs> yeah, they're a bit old, aren't they? Dorothy, can I help you? <laughs> Don't leave me here. <laughs> they're very good. They love. They're very yeah. The spirit of Australia. <laughs> Do you like tongue twisters? Jason Lawrence, tongue twister Tuesday. Ah, uh, that's right. If there is a word you cannot say, 132410 is our number. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're aware, Jace, that there is a word you cannot say. We said it twice this morning. Oh, yes, I love this. The word is obviously. Obviously. You've been saying obviously. Obviously, that's not what happened. Sometimes I do say obviously. And it makes me laugh every single time. With Especially or at. when you're in an argument. You're like, obviously that's wrong. That's, that's how I do it. <laughs> when you fire it up. When I get angry, my mouth gets lazy. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> you just can't get your lips around obviously. it. Obviously. Obviously, yes. Obviously, you can't get these lips around it. So remember the rule with this, Lauren. We're laughing with you. Not at you, Nicola from Ormond. Good morning. Is there a word you can't say? Can you throw it in a sentence for us? Sure. Um, my investigative skills are amazing. <laughs> I don't know if they are. <laughs> say it again. Investigative? 
Investigative. Mm. Oh, that's even harder to say than the original. You, you In, should hang on. Investigate. Like what? No, no, I can't. <laughs> What's she trying to say? She's trying to say her investigative. <laughs> investigative <laughs> skills. Her investigative. Yeah, that's a, that's a tough investigative. one. Yeah. Investigative. 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 Wait, say it slowly, Clem. Investigative. Investigative. Is imagine, that right? yeah, that's <laughs> imagine, imagine tuning in right that's now. Hard. You'd be like, nah, they've imagine lost it. Imagine working on a current affair where they do a lot of investigative, investigative stories. Jamie, what's a word you can't say using in a sentence? Go for it. Uh, I need cinnamon for the cake. Yes. Yeah, oh. no need to yell. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it without yelling. It, what would you say if you had to order three cinnamon donuts? I need three cinnamon. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Screw it. Give me the strawberry yeah, ice one. Exactly. I have the jam donuts, thanks. Cinny. Vanessa from Mill Park, what word can't you say? Put it in a sentence for us. Okay. Um, my kids like to eat Canamello koalas. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Oh, I love a Canamello koala. <laughs> they call me Canamello koala. Can you, can you say like caramel slice? Canamello. No. <laughs> That's a no. All That's right. a hard no. Let's head to Pakenham. We were there last week, actually. Jasmine, welcome to the show. Hi. What's wor- what word can't you say using in a sentence? When you go bird watching, you use binoculars. <laughs> <laughs> binoculars. I reckon there'd be lots of people that call them binoculars. I reckon I've heard that before. Binoculars. 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 How often are you going bird watching, Jasmine? No. Exactly. Exactly. Kim. Kim. Willie Dale, what word can't you say? Chuck it in a sentence, Kimmy. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Um, Thank you, I mate. just saw a rhinoceros. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. <laughs> rhinoceros. You know what's so endearing? They're pretty amazing rhinoceroses. You're saying it like a child would say it. That's what's so endearing. It's yeah. very cute. I reckon also I think once some someone in the family says it, then people just roll with it exactly. and it becomes you can't. Say it any other way. What was an old producer? They had something in the family. Spaghetti bolognese. They used bolognese. To call- yeah, bolognese. Bolognese. <laughs> rhinoceros. Is it? What is it? If it's a plural of rhin- rhinoceros, is it rhinoceroses or, or rhinoceri? Rhinoceroses. I, I would say rhinoceros. Right, right. <laughs> if there is one rhinoceros, there are two. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Is. Oh, it's just rhinoceros. There are I two know. rhinoceros. Three rhinoceros. Let's go to Geelong, Rhinos. What word can't you say? <laughs> Using in a sentence. Go for it. Oh, I'm just going to go and sit out the front on my Ravender and have a beer. On your, <laughs> on your what? Ravender. <laughs> Where are you going to sit, Megan? On the Ravender. <laughs> I like it. She also says it like, the Ravender, you idiot. The Ravanda. Of course I'm going to sit there. Yeah, don't you know? (laughs) She's going to have a beer on her Ravanda. Good on you, Megan. A Ravanda. What about about if you say it's slow? Nah, nah. Ravanda. Yeah, no. Ravanda. It's just like if that's how you've been brought up, you just roll with it as well. Wow. God, if I was you, I'd buy a low-set house and just like, you know, live in places that just don't have them. Try and avoid it. Maybe a veranda. I haven't heard the word veranda for a while. Oh, you know what I don't get? You know people would have two-storey houses and then they build a veranda off of the master bedroom? Those small no, that's little... just called a balcony. Yeah, I know, but, like, when are you going to sit out there? Do you know no, what I mean? Those, I those mind silly... it. Oh, like you What's the sit difference out... between a veranda and a pergola? <sighs> I don't know. Pergola down the, the bottom. pergola is sort of like a... A pergola out the back no, and you know, no. an old oh, yeah. rocking chair. What's that, though? Pergola. Or is it freestanding? Tell you what, we were having a look at a house. And what's an alfresco compared to a Ravanda? An alfresco is just a, just a bit of concrete, isn't it? Yeah, I With an so. umbrella and a pergola. You know how the real estate... Pergola is, is independent of the home. <laughs> is, it, yeah. is a pergola it's not, freestanding? Yeah, it's not fixed to the home. You know how... Um, <laughs> to the home... <laughs> The real estate agents have all these fancy words. Yeah. Like we, we were at um, a house inspection the other day in Bentley, actually, and as we were leaving, the real estate agent's like, well, thanks for coming. He's trying to usher me to the left mm. and because the house on the right was a hoarder's house. Oh. So he wanted us to avoid seeing the oh. house on the right. Oh, really? So Scumbag move. Up. Yeah, scumbag move. Nah. Like full hoarder's house. Like I was waiting for Tracy Grimshaw to kick down the door. Oh, she's love she's Tracy retired Grimshaw. now. It's oh, Ali these days. Yeah, I know. But I she's not kicking down hey, doors um, like Tracy would have. They'd pull Tracy back for a special. By the way, it's a crash. What? A crash of rhinos. Oh, thank God I can sleep One now. One rhino, a crash of rhinos too. That's 
What? Re- a crash? A crash? Well, that's stupid. <laughs> All right, let's talk fashion. Fashion. Chase Hawkins, the fashion police. He's got an eye for fashion, and he judges with ease. <laughs> oh, what that's was you. that? Chase Hawkins, fashion police. He's got an eye for fashion, and he judges with ease. Should have it is you. It couldn't have been further from the truth. Time but for anyway. the fashion police, guys. The Met Gala, it is... New York's night of nights in terms of fashion and celebrity and the celebs are hitting the Question. red carpet. Actually, it's a kind of blue carpet. This Question. Year. Mm. Question. Mm. Question. Uh, what is it? Like it's that's not a, a it's great not, question. It's, it's not an award show, is it? No. What does one do at a Met Gala? Like, well, what, what it is, is it? It's actually a fundraiser. Yeah, is it like the Coffee Club a... Awards every year where all the staff go? and It's yeah. a fundraiser for the Met, which is the museum, Metropolitan oh. Museum. And all really? those people, they pay for tables. Oh, yeah, they pay. They're making donations. Can't the money be the, going to something better to than the, the museum? The Met Museum. Yeah, but, like, we're going to do this grand, like, night. Oh, don't they do it. God, don't just, they do can't a, you um... just enjoy something for once? Yeah, no. No, I think it's stupid. The money they spend on it and stuff, like, okay. what a waste of cash. Don't they do a version here, the NGV Gala? Mm-hmm. The NGV Gala, that's normally... And, and I think the Met is similar. It's to celebrate a designer and then they mm. the designer's exhibition within the Met. Right. So I believe a, this year is all about Tom Ford. It's a bit of a wank fest. He's sponsoring it, is oh, he? Oh, but so is everything in Hollywood. Yeah, no, good call. <laughs> Mike, why are you surprised by that? It's not yeah, breaking Tommy news. Ford. Love Tom Tommy Ford. Ford. So there are um, Anna Wintour, obviously, is the patron, I believe, and then there's, there's she's the one with the the hosts, the crash helmet yep. haircut, yep. yep, bowl haircut, and then there's yep. the hosts. So or that she handpicks. So it's oh. Zendaya, Bad Bunny. I'm sure you're familiar with yep. Bad Bunny's love, work. Love the bunny. Uh, Jennifer Lopez and our very own homegrown Chris Hemsworth, who's making his first appearance at the Met Gala this year. They've hit the carpet, dressed in top. So they're Ford. all those four are so hot right now. So, so hot, hot right, right now, clean. Yeah. So hot. So they have to be the first four to arrive, I believe, because they stand at the top of the stairs and yeah, reach cool. around. Just back to the Tom Ford thing. I've noticed it a lot of. I thought he did fragrance. Well, a lot of open homes now. I'm noticing people have the a Tom candle. Ford book oh, on yes. the coffee table. Or the got, fashion. I've got the Tom I've Ford got the book. Tom. Do you there? You go. See? Do you Is own... there a Tom Ford candle? Or so? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Tom Ford candle. They've got some cheeky <laughs> names. All right, let's go through the photos. Very <laughs> cheeky first names. Up, I can't Chris say it on this show. Elsa Pataki. Chris and Elsa dressed head to toe in Tom Ford. She's in this beautiful ethereal mm. gold dress Does with Tom... a um, headdress, and he is in like a cream shirt, Question. vest, suit with a black shoe combo. Garden of Time is the theme. Does Tom not do buttons on his shirts? Not when you got a chest like that. No. Who Look needs buttons? I've got a suit like that <laughs> with a vest like that. You should that. wear it tomorrow. Do you look like him in it? I look a lot like that. <laughs> I've a seen that. A few suit. more hairs on the chest. No, you nearly burst the the I've seams had, on those. I've since so had tight. the pants widened. <laughs> they were like. I'll wear it in tomorrow, oh, mate, and we'll compare. I think you wore it to Oaks Day, and they were like spray on pants. <laughs> I've been into a tailor's before, and they're like, "Do you want them taken in?" And I'm like, "No, I'm here to get them taken out." <laughs> Quite the opposite, Same actually. Same thing, isn't it? All right, All right next I up. think they look sensational. They're my best dress. Oh, this is, that? That's Zendaya. You love oh, Zendaya. With a very... Um, Talk us through it, boys. It's very. She's got a very deep eye. like a Very um, dark, dark eye shadow does it for me. So, Do you think she looks a bit like a peacock? Yeah, a little bit. She's a bit... She, yeah. Is it a bit peacocky? Yeah, so yeah, it's she like blue me. and green. She could peck you. She yeah. could chase you around. I like the colours, though. The blue like and the green. Dark and eye the, shadow. Dark eye shadow. And those lips. Look at the dark lip. What about the little birds on her shoulder? Are you into those guys? Oh, I used to breed budgies when I was young. So oh, yes, it's not, they'd you be know. right up your alley. You could put her in an aviary. Has she got grapes on her? Oh, good luck. Look, well, look at the a... grapes. She's got some grapes on her. She well, it's does. a long night, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> She's going to ferment them and make them into wine. Okay, let's get the next one. Can't wait okay. to hear your opinion. So oh. this is Zendaya with J-Lo. Talk oh. us through it, fellas. Mum looks like she's dropping her daughter off at the Met Gala. <laughs> <laughs> Zendaya looks like she's just crawled out of those bushes. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, J-Lo looks great. J-Lo's lovely. She's got, like, wings on the yes. top. That looks... Yeah, it's like just, something from Game of Thrones, I really. don't know if I'd be standing next to Zendaya trying to pass each other off as sisters. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? What do you think that necklace is worth that J-Lo's rocking? Probably a lot more than my home, to yeah, be honest. She get it from Michael Hill? Right. Well, Michael Hill's had a rebrand. Has Shout it? out. Miranda Kerr is the face now. Is she? Uh, really? A jazz Miranda Kerr is the face of Michael Hill. 
Wow. Will she be doing the ads? Miranda yes. Kerr. Have you not seen them? She looks Jeweler. unbelievable. No, Michael Hill's had a glow up, but I don't think J-Lo's wearing Michael Hill. <laughs> J-Lo says, I'm wearing Michael Hill. <laughs> but if Miranda Kerr's there. The security guard there, is probably just out of the camera shot. Yeah, yeah. That <laughs> necklace is worth a lot, isn't it? All, All right, right next, let's go to the next right. one. Oh, is that Ben Simmons? It is. What's he's got a clock on his bag? <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got a clock on his bag? <laughs> it's he's, a, got, it's, so he's got a watch on his is, bag. It's a bit Alice in Wonderland, isn't it? Yes. Who was the kooky thing with the clocks? I like the jacket, though. It's sort of like a... It's a um, it's a trench coat, but the top of it, it looks like rug. he's... Well, picnic rug dash kilt. Yes, <laughs> but it's got variations of check. But why is Multiple he carrying checks? a briefcase with a giant clock well, on it? Well, maybe because the theme is Garden of Time. Is there a garden on or the Or do clock? you think, no, you know what? When Anna's up there in her headgear um, haircut, and she's <laughs> rabbiting on. He can just point to his briefcase. So let's brief- wrap this up, Anna. Do you think the briefcase is like a deal or no deal with his donation inside? <laughs> so well, it's... he's a basketball, so he might be asking for a timeout. Next. Next. Timeout. No, oh, I this is called a scholar. <laughs> Talk us through. Mother, Mother Teresa's Teresa at the back. Oh, she's back. The handbag. Talk us through the handbag. Hang on. No, the hand. What? Oh, the handbag. It's I'm... a woven sausage dog handbag with flowers coming out of it. So it's a flower pot. That? That is, that's it's a flower pot. Cole is scholar. You keep talking about Now, Cole like... looks like <laughs> Cole's dressed as a nun. Like she's, he, she's from Sister Act. It does look like Sister Act. And she's <laughs> called... <laughs> and, and, and oh, my her, God. Cole da, 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 is scholar, American actor and comedian. Oh, Cole. Hang on. Oh, we so might know to Cole. Be a funny outfit. Well, I don't know. Cole's going to the chapel. And Cole's Next. Gonna I can't get, get past the sausage dog back. Okay, Bad oh, Bunny. Bad Bunny looks bad. He looks like the villain in 101 Dalmatians. Yeah, he does. It's, it's a cross between the three amigos. Like It looks you like almost like a that, sombrero. You could borrow that hat for Melbourne Cup Day. <laughs> <laughs> I think he looks pretty good, actually. And I think that's quite cool. With those, You know, that the micro glasses are in at the moment. Teeny little glasses oh, like they. that. And okay. to wrap things up, final one before we get out of here, J-Lo. I oh, no. her. Wisdom K, whoever that is. They look like a Nova ambassador wisdom, in that ring. I red think K. Wisdom might have been uh, ironing the outfit and has burnt it because there's little holes in it. It does look like it's had fire set to it. Just finally, um, you were looking online. Someone had to be carried Tyler. off the carpet. So Tyler the singer has turned up and everyone knows... Even if you've never been to the Met Gala, everyone knows the whole thing as you walk up the stairs. But Tyler couldn't get up the stairs, and so someone had to pick her up. Like, she's, like, stiff as a board, and they're just picking her up and carrying her up one step at a time because her dress is too tight. She can't walk up the stairs. In 2024, wouldn't you get an escalator? Or she could get no, one of those. Step- no, imagine that guy there in that cape on an escalator. They get stuck at the top. No, 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 it? I've got it. I've got it. One of those chairs on, you know, the chairs that go up. The chair The lifts. elevator. Oh, like old people have that yeah, are attached in, to the yeah, railing. Like their staircase. Like in Gremlins. <laughs> and you get J-Lo. Whee! <laughs> and that is it, guys. We are about to get out of here. Yeah, I'm glued. Thank you for being a friend. We are. I'll be glued to the TV for the rest of the day watching the Met Gala. Yes. I am loving these red carpet arrivals. There was someone that popped up before, Clint, and you described her as looking like Louis the Fly. Yes. Yeah, there and Jace, this... how did you describe her looking? Like someone busting out of a vagina. It was like, it was like she had wings, big, bright, pink, pink wings. It was just it was quite odd. Really freaked me out. Yeah, it's. It, I love the Met Gala um, and I love the commentary that comes oh, with the outfit. Has Bazzy Boy had a little spruce up on the face? Yeah, you know what he looks Brazzle, like? Basil Herman, he looks he younger looks, than he's ever looked. He looks like when you go to, like... Come by world or something, and it's just a painted on face, but you put your face up to it, and only the lips move. Is he starring in cats? That's what it's like. Um, he's gone, he's full peroxide white, too, the hair, isn't he? Oh. Yeah, I'm into it. Um, hey, I'm it. loving it. Now, can't we do more commentary on no, the Met no, 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 We have to go. There's someone there in a bright pink suit, okay. and I need to know who it is. I'll reprise Chris turn Hemsworth. Please turn tomorrow. the TV off. It's the only way I can get your attention. Why? Where are you in a rush to go? I. Like, the show's over. Mel wants to get on. No, nah, Mel's cool. She's just going to talk about the Met Gala, too. <laughs> Do you, want to, do you want to do a special... Well, I can't say now you've turned the TV do off. Do a special online stream. I was doing it then. Yes, you should do an o- <laughs> online like stream. An Instagram live. Yes. They do you and the, me, they do, them do you want to do it they with do me? They very well. Um, no, there's plenty of fashion commentators happy to do that. I want to get out of here as well. My little one is in getting surgery, so I want to get home. Oh, and way to make out. me feel bad. No, you're right. I just want to make sure mm. he's safe what and he's okay. The, what time does the canteen open there? <laughs>
Don't. I went to visit my nan at the Cabrini Hospital the other day. They'd run out of sausage rolls. Oh, what? I sent you a photo. I was like, I this know. is... Like, you got to get in early if you want a sausage roll. No We've wonder you're trying move, to move, Nan. <laughs> yeah. Nan. Get into the Alfred. I'm going to send Nan downstairs to pick one up so there's one waiting in the room next Nan, time Nan, you're I visit. not getting the care here that you need. <laughs> no, the Cabrini you. Hospital is like, she said she, she sent me a text saying, I feel like I'm dining in a five-star restaurant every night. Yeah, right. Cute. Shout out to all the nurses and the people who work very hard in hospitals. Yes. Um, have a great we day, everyone. You. We will see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Bye. Thank you. Jason Lauren. Follow them on socials.